In example nine, we're going to find the eight, eight roots of unity. So what we're going to do, it's really not too hard. Your R value, because it says roots of unity, your R value will be one. And since we're starting roots of unity, theta will equal zero. So what's going to happen is this. We're going to find the eighth root of one times the cosine of zero plus two pi k over eight plus i sine of 0 plus 2 pi k over 8. Now we've gone through this before, so it shouldn't be that big of a shock to you that what this is going to be, this is going to be 0 plus pi over 4 k. And that's going to be for k equals 1, 0 through 7. That's going to be k equals 0 through 7. Remember, we're going to do one less than the 8 roots that we need. So your first root, and I'm going to do this pretty quickly here since we should be able to do this, hopefully quickly see the pattern. It'll be 1 times the cosine of 0 plus i sine of 0, because 0 divided by 8 is 0, adding nothing to it. So that will simplify. Cosine of 0 is 1. Sine of 0 is 0, so 1 plus 0 i. Your second root will be the eighth root of 1, or 1, cosine of 0 plus pi over 4, so pi over 4, plus i sine of pi over 4. That will simplify to square root of 2 over 2 plus square root of 2 over 2 i. Your third root, that will be 1 times cosine of pi over 4 plus pi over 4, or pi over 2, plus i sine of pi over 2. That will simplify to 0 plus 1 i. Now your fourth root, again following the pattern, pi over 2 plus pi over 4 will be 3 pi over 4. Cosine of 3 pi over 4 is negative square root of 2 over 2. Sine of 3 pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. And then we have the i with it. Our fifth root, following the same pattern, so cosine 3 pi over 4 plus pi over 4 is pi plus i sine of pi. That will actually give me negative 1 plus 0 i. Our sixth root, the cosine of 4 pi over 4 plus pi over 4 would be 5 pi over 4 plus i sine of 5 pi over 4. And that will simplify to negative square root of 2 over 2 minus square root of 2 over 2 i. Our seventh root be 1 cosine 5 pi over 4 plus pi over 4 would be 6 pi over 4, which really reduces to 3 pi over 2. Cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. Sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. And our eighth and final root, 3 pi over 4, which 3 pi over 2, which is really 6 pi over 4, plus pi over 4 will be 7 pi over 4. That will actually be square root of 2 over 2 minus square root of 2 over 2 i. And there you have it. There's your eight, eight roots of unity. They'll all be points on the unit circle, so you surely shouldn't have any problems doing this. Now moving on to B, we're going to find the six, six roots of unity. So again, your R value will be 1, theta will be 0. So what we'll have 
we'll have the 6 to the root of 1, cosine of 0 plus 2 pi k over 6, plus i sine of 0 plus 2 pi k over 6. Now again, Follow what we worked with before. We'll have 0 plus 2 pi over 6, which is pi over 3k. And that's going to be 4. k equals 0 to 5. So let's find your first sixth root of unity. Z1 will be the sixth root of 1, which is 1. Cosine of 0 plus i sine of 0. That will be 1 plus 0 i. Our second root will be 1, because the sixth root of 1 is 1. Cosine of 0 plus pi over 3. This cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. Sine of pi over 3 is the square root of 3 over 2 i. Our third root. 6 root of 1 is 1. Cosine of pi over 3 plus pi over 3, which is 2 pi over 3 plus i sine of 2 pi over 3. Cosine of 2 pi over 3 is negative 1 half. Sine of 2 pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2. Our fourth root, 6 root of 1 is 1. Cosine of 2 pi over 3 plus pi over 3, which is pi. That will simplify to cosine of pi is negative 1 plus 0 i. Our fifth root, so this will be cosine of pi plus pi over 3, so 4 pi over 3. That will be a negative 1 half minus square root of 3 over 2i. And our sixth root of unity be 1 cosine of 5 pi over 3 plus i sine of 5 pi over 3. That will simplify to 1 half minus the square root of 3 over 2i. So there you have it. Those are your six, six roots of unity. All it is, those are points around the unit circle going around every pi over three. You're putting a dot around the unit circle. Above with the eight, eight roots of unity, you're going around the unit circle, putting dots at every 45 degree angle. So pi over four, pi over two, three pi over four, pi, 5 pi over 4, 3 pi over 2, 7 pi over 4. Those are your points you're going to have on your unit circle. Now, if you have any questions on De Moine's theorem or the roots of unity, you need to let me know immediately so I can help you. That again is the end of Chapter 6. Our test will be this upcoming week, Thursday and Friday.